Cyclone Gita is approaching New Zealand. Here's the latest outlook, and you can see the storm approaching from the northwest on Monday. You can see the winds there starting to get up slightly to 22 miles per hour, which is somewhere around 35 kilometers per hour at 10 a.m. And uh, looking at the temperatures, the maximum temperatures on Monday uh, will be probably the warmest day of the week for most areas. 32 the high along the eastern coast of the North Island. Uh, and Monday night you can see Gita approaching from the northwest. Towards the south it will have its uh, most highest amount of rainfall by the looks of things as it turns post-tropical. 83 miles per hour winds quite possible in that storm on Monday night which is over 120 kilometers per hour. Temperatures down to around 20 just north of Auckland and uh, down to near freezing levels in the southernmost part of New Zealand for the first time in a while. Looking into Tuesday, the rainfall from Gita is really approaching uh, and affecting New Zealand by this point. The winds are starting to get up as well, 76 miles per hour inside the storm, 120 kilometers per hour there. Uh, but on the islands themselves, winds will only be starting to get up as we enter the later hours of Tuesday. And it'll be a warm day for the North Island there as well, but noticeably colder in the southern half, south of the storm. Tuesday night, it's really, really sweeping through there. Wind speeds getting up to around 46 miles per hour on the islands themselves, but possibly up to 61 miles an hour. Sustained winds could be higher than that. That's around 110 kilometers per hour. Minimum temperatures there going down quite significantly, below 20 in all locations and 10 or lower in the uh, most of the South Island. And looking into Wednesday, colder air following behind that, and you can see the storm moving away, but you can see some residual uh, wind from the storm as it breaks apart, really. Uh, but still, 47 miles an hour as the storm moves away there, which is around uh, 70 kilometers per hour, uh, and higher gusts, and the temperatures back up in the North Island again. And then the storm moves through Wednesday night into Thursday. It's mostly gone by then, by the looks of things. We'll still have some significant winds, uh, especially along the eastern coast, and some residual winds off towards the west there as well. But most of the storm, the bulk of it, will have moved through. And by the looks of things, there will be another system coming through uh, from the west uh, later on in the week. But looking at Wednesday night, temperatures down across the board. Looking at the storm itself, this is what Cyclone Gita is doing right now, somehow still a tropical storm, but it looks to me on this latest imagery here uh, that it's just about to lose that tropical storm status as all that convection, the blow up of convection there is moving away from the centre of the storm, leaving an exposed centre of circulation. Rainfall amounts, according to some of the models in New Zealand, could reach up to 11 inches on some of the mountains. Uh, the North Island, the northern parts of the North Island should get away with not too much rain from this storm. Uh, but the southern part of the North Island and the northern part of the South Island will probably get the heaviest rainfall and the strongest winds. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which is uh, hopefully keeping us up to date on the latest. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13, subscribe if you haven't already. We're also on Facebook, like our page, search Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter. If you'd like to follow us or send us a tweet on there, we'll respond. You can also add Force 13 on Skype, the official account, or add my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094 for Tropical Weather Chat.